From John Lennon's Imagine Piano to Kurt Cobain's MTV Unplugged Acoustic Guitar, music memorabilia has always been highly collectible, with some fans willing to pay absurd amounts to get their hands on a piece of music history. But while famous musicians' pianos, guitars, cars, and song lyrics reach prices into the millions at auction for valid reasons, there are also some very strange items that fans are willing to splash the cash for. So let's look at some of the weirdest music memorabilia ever sold at auction. Let's start off small with what might be one of the weirdest pieces of Beatles memorabilia ever to be sold. The Beatles chewing gum. That's right, in 2013, a piece of chewing gum supposedly chewed by one of the band members, it's unclear who, sold at auction for $380. What a bargain. And if someone's chewed chewing gum wasn't personal enough, what about a squeezed out tube of nasal ointment? This item used by Jerry Lee Lewis to treat his nasal infections, along with some empty medicine bottles of methadone and alprazolam, was put up for sale by his ex-wife and sold for $384. If you think that's unusual, how much would you spend to get your hands on Elton John's used toilet seat? Well, in 2002, someone really wanted a piece of music history and paid $1,000 for the privilege of having Elton on the John. Apparently, fans will go to great lengths to own something a musician once used, just like in 2015, when a pizza plate that Kurt Cobain used sold for $22,400. Cobain didn't just leave some pizza crumbs on it, he also wrote Nirvana's set list from their April 23, 1990 show in Washington, D.C. on the plate. Now, that's a piece of memorabilia you can really sink your teeth into. Speaking of teeth, this next item is another weird piece of Beatles memorabilia, one of John Lennon's molars to be precise. It is said to have been extracted by Lennon's former housekeeper and then purchased for $31,000 by a Canadian dentist who hinted at using it to clone the iconic Beatle. And as for other pricey body parts, the luscious locks of musicians' hair have always been highly sought after for some strange reason. A lock of David Bowie's hair once sold at auction for $3,500. It was originally gifted by Bowie to a fan with a note stating, Hairs to you, Bowie, who later sold it at auction. Another hairy collectible comes from Willie Nelson. Willie's braids were cut from his head at a 1980s party thrown by Johnny Cash and June Carter Cash to celebrate his outlaw pal Waylon Jennings' sobriety. In 2014, the pigtails were sold at auction for $37,000 but the prize for the most expensive lock of hair to ever be sold goes to Elvis Presley. This particular lock of hair was snipped by Elvis's personal barber and sold for an astonishing $115,000 at auction. Next up, Buddy Holly's iconic glasses. These were recovered from the site of his tragic plane crash and then sold for $45,000. Another pair of famous glasses are the sunglasses that John Lennon wore on the cover of his Mind Games single. These fetched $78,400 at auction. One band that was heavily influenced by John Lennon and the Beatles was the 90s Britpop band Oasis. And this next piece of memorabilia has been described as the physical manifestation of the breakup of them. In 2009, Noel Gallagher smashed up his Red Gibson guitar during an argument between him and his brother Liam. The band split up and would never play together again after this. The damaged guitar sold for $405,000 and was bought by an anonymous European buyer, probably by Liam in the hope the band will one day get back together. Another damaged guitar that sold for a ridiculous amount is one of Jimi Hendrix's torched Fender Stratocasters. Hendrix set a couple of guitars ablaze on stage during his career, doing it for the first time at a show in London in 1967. That guitar later sold for $604,000 in 2008. Jimi Hendrix isn't the only one that's had his burnt items sold. In 1984, a pyrotechnical accident singed some of Michael Jackson's hair while filming a Pepsi ad. 12 strands of that charred hair sold for $1,500. If you thought that was weird, what about a pair of Michael Jackson's soiled underwear? Not weird enough? Well, what about a pair of Michael Jackson's soiled underwear in an evidence bag sealed with police tape? In 2008, one avid collector bought them after they were listed on eBay for a staggering $1 million. The pair of underwear were originally confiscated and used as evidence during Jackson's infamous court case. 
But the most bizarre and most expensive piece of memorabilia ever sold at auction is this weird-looking life-size golden statue of Michael and his beloved pet chimpanzee, Bubbles, which sold for nearly $7.5 million. If you liked this video, give it a like and subscribe. See you next time on the Origins of Songs.